So uh, that was my song for trumpet. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming. I really didn't expect even this many. I was just like, <laughs> I really had no idea how many would be here and kind of excited. So yeah, um, the next six songs I'm playing are on piano. Um, let's see, I've played piano for at least 10 years. And um, the first song I'm playing is Fountain in the Rain. It was, uh, I played it in eighth grade for uh, the, I learned it for uh, Junior Beta Convention. And I took it down there and I actually won state on it. And I remember playing it like perfectly. It was like, even in practice, I hadn't played it that awesome. And um, so I got first place. And then I took it to uh, Nationals, which was in Disney World that year. And just me and mom went and it was, it was an awesome vacation. <laughs> so, just the two of us in Disney World. So I went down there. I didn't place or anything, but it was still an awesome experience. So um, that was really when I decided, you know, I'm actually kind of good at it. So that's when I really started getting more serious about it, learned harder songs. And although I've been kind of lazy, but I've pushed myself more since then. So yeah, here's that. <laughs> Thank you. 
sound dude back there. He came yesterday and helped and then came today too. Um, while we were practicing and everything yesterday, he uh, came up here and was setting everything up. Um, let's see. 
And then I want to thank Mom, of course, who helped do all this, all the stuff. She did the um, the program and uh, the invitations. Did all the pretty stuff y'all get to see in a minute in the fellowship hall. And then, um, of course, she also drove me around to piano lessons and band practice and everything up until I could drive. And the same for Dad. They, they've always been supportive in taking me on all these stuff <laughs> to learn all this and to play. And this is where I've made all my friends. So talking about my friends, this is the bunch I'm always around all the time. Um, these guys are the top people at our school, I guess you could say. Um, all of them are extremely, extremely talented. So um, just to show y'all kind of what age group, raise your hand if you're an eighth grader. So, we don't have any freshmen. Raise your hand if you're a sophomore. Junior? <laughs> and then seniors? It started as an all senior group and then as some were like, I have to work, I can't be there, we brought in other groups or other kids and so this is the ensemble we have and it sounds amazing. So, um, let's see, the next group is the church staff for letting me have it here and they've always been here for me. Um, I've grown up, grown up at this church and they've always been here for me. So they let me have it here today and come in yesterday and practice. Um, and then, can I have Miss Sam and Miss Dana come up here? <laughs> and then, um, Mr. Stone is uh, who I've been taking trumpet lessons from, and he couldn't be here today, but uh, he's. Uh, helped me with anything brass because I had never had a lesson until this past summer on trumpet. And so he he's helped me extend my range, helped me uh, just with everything. I did all state auditions. He helped me with that. He forced me to learn all my scales finally, which I rocked at my college audition. <laughs> so all that finally paid off, but he couldn't be here today. So next we have Miss Sam. She's my band director at school, and she's taught all of us. All of us had beginner band with her, and if it wasn't for her, none of us would be up here at all. So, <laughs> it is true. And she's taught us more than just this. Like one of the lessons she <laughs> one of the lessons that I always remember is if you're uh, on time, you're late, and if you're early, you're on time. Sean hates that one, but I try to follow it. But, <laughs> but I mean, just. Everything we've been with her for I don't know how many years, and really, this is hers. <laughs> All of us are, yeah, we, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. And then Miss Dana. She's been my piano teacher since I was like this tall. And so she, she's watched me grow up. She's been there when I've been the lazy one where she had to tell me when I was little that if I didn't start practicing, she was going to tell my mom. And <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want her to tell mom. So yeah, and she's the reason I was able to do what I did over there. She always had us memorize music when we were little and then do a recital. So I've always been able to memorize music and it's helped me through marching band and I've done the Decatur Youth Symphony with Mr. Stone and if it wasn't for her I wouldn't be anywhere so but yeah. so there's the two that are awesome <laughs>
Okay, so there's um, cake in the fellowship hall. And before we go down there, can I have Granddaddy come up and say a prayer for us before we eat? <laughs> Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for your love. Just thank you for this group of young people that came to share their music with us. We thank you for them, dear Lord. And we just pray that you would just be with them as they go through life and through whatever way you lead them, dear Lord. We just pray that you just be with them. Be with us now as we go into the reception and just pray that you bless the re refreshments and just pray that we can fellowship together. Thank you, dear Lord, for your love. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.